Venezuela has uh, more than 30 million uh, citizens that are suffering from hunger and they are suffering from lack of medicines and they are virtually dying. And it's creating tremendous problems, not only for Venezuelans, but for the whole region and for the world. China, Russia, uh, blocking in the United Nations any solution for the Venezuelan problem that has been uh, proposed by the U.S. When I was president, I opened up the doors of Colombia for the Venezuelan people. We already have more than 1.3 million Venezuelans living in Colombia. That is more than the refugees that the whole of Europe has received in the last years. There will be a point where there is uh, no more capacity and then we will have another major problem in Colombia because of the Venezuelan uh, crisis. So it is very important for the whole world, for the region, for Colombia, but especially for Venezuelans to find a solution and to find a solution fast. The International Crisis Group has been able to make uh, studies and analysis that has, have gained the respect of many key players. The International Crisis Group has a unique ability to go to the places and there in where the reality is happening. They study the situations with objectivity. They can also produce ideas, initiatives that are used by the decision makers in the process of trying to find solutions to the conflicts. Some people think that Maduro is simply going to leave and that is underestimating him and underestimating the power that he has. A negotiated solution is necessary because we need to avoid one option that would be terrible option is a violent option. There's hundreds and thousands of colectivos who are armed with AK-47s. Violence in Venezuela will last for decades. Negotiations is the only way. And to have successful negotiations, we need the major stakeholders to support this transition. Stakeholders uh, could and should design what we call a golden bridge for the Venezuelan regime to have a way out, but it has to be a dignified way out.